Hey dealers, this is James with Segmental Wholesale. I am here with CJ from Maxim Defense. CJ, why don't you tell us a little bit what you do at Maxim Defense and uh, what you got going on there yeah, this sure year. Thing, James. Yeah. So CJ Dugan, uh, the Executive Vice President of Business Development for the company. So everything in Gov, Mill, Law Enforcement and International, that falls under my portfolio. And of course, compliancy, you know, that State Department, sure. ATF, yeah. you know, keeping them happy and keeping me out of jail. <laughs> Very important so, to keep yeah. them happy, and we don't want you to go to jail, CJ. No, we don't no, want to go to jail no. either. So, uh, and I understand you have a military background. Uh, where'd you come from? You know, I got a little bit of background myself, but w w what'd you do? Yeah, so I uh, started out as 12 Bravo Combat Engineer, went to cyber school, all that fun stuff. Nice. thought I wanted to go to, uh, you know, 82nd Airborne and be an be a engineer, light engineer. Sure. That didn't work out, so I went to... SF and cool. spent 18 years at Green Beret. 18 years, man, that's awesome. Yeah, and then right towards the end of my career, uh, did acquisitions for SF Command. So okay, managing that entire P11 portfolio before that. Sure. So how was the transition out of the military into the gun world here, into, into the industry? How'd that work for you? Well, it's it's interesting because you know, you coming from a background like that, and you think you know a ton about guns and shooting and everything else, but then you get into the developmental side and that's an entirely different discussion. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So with your background then, how has that helped play in Maxim Defense and, and everything that they're making? Yeah, so a lot of stuff that I didn't have overseas uh -huh. on certain mission sets, you know, I kind of brought that back in and, sure. and now I'm in a position where we can help develop those. So, nice. You know, you're going out to do mission X, Y, or Z. Um, you've got a choice between a pistol or a 10-3 Mark 18. Like, okay, where's that medium span in that? And that's right. really where the PDX was born out of. For, the PDX, yeah. okay. So tell me, what 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 is something on, on a mission that you saw that you needed and that's what came out of the PDX? I'm, I'm totally interested now. Yeah, you, yeah. You got me. So, so if, you're, if you're out and you're doing any type of close target recce or anything like that, civilian clothes, civilian vehicles, and that type right. of stuff, you know, it's low vis. You're supposed to, you know, not get compromised sure. and everything else, right. but things go bad. Yeah. So, you know, being able to have like a rifle caliber versus just a pistol and then trying to conceal or keep a 10-3 or, you know, large frame M4. Absolutely. You know, that, that's where it was born out of. Oh, and that's awesome. So, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, well, we got issues of the ballistics, your short barrels, you're not getting the, okay. Well, that's not what it was built and intended for. It is a weapon that we built to create space. Get nice. off the X, put them at bay until green machine or somebody else comes in to oh, back you up. Yeah, so, I love that. That's, so That's really where the PDX was That's where the, from. yeah. And do you have a PDX over there then? Yeah. yeah. And, okay, we'll, we'll take a look at that for sure here in a little bit. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, what is Maxim coming out with this year? What do you got coming down the pipe? So what are we, we looking forward to? Brand new line of suppressors, which was really based out of our uh, 240 machine gun suppressor. Okay. Which is now with Fort Benning and Lethality Branch going through uh, test and evaluation. No with kidding. Big Army. Yeah. No kidding. So it's it's sitting over there, and we can run, we can run that. Beautiful. Going towards you know go mill. Not a whole bunch of civilians or dealers that deal in. in true 240s, 249s. <laughs> right, right, right. So, you don't see those sitting on the, on well, the shelves too often. We took all that often. technology and, and we scaled it and we're having phenomenal results in, in our new suppressor line. Nice. And then uh, we also came out of with, uh, we we increased to AR-10 platform. Okay. So we're doing 308 and 65 Creedmoor. The MD-11 is what that MD is. MD-11, right, right, right. The other range. Yeah, we but, want to look at that. Yeah, you know, we're doing a 16-inch barrel, 308, 18-inch barrel, and 6.5 Creedmoor, all proof barrels. They're attack drivers. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, what, what's like the twist rate on the 6.5? One uh, and seven and a half. It is one and seven and a half. No kidding. All right. At, at 16 inch and then 18 inch yep. too? Oh, man, that's beautiful. Yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah. Yeah, it's down at uh, LR3. So okay. Dave Steinbox down there. Right All right. Well, so. we'll definitely take a look at that today and take a little maybe. And then our yeah. frangible ammo is the next big one. So okay. So a lot of frange comes with jacketed, you know, jacketed frange or semi-jacketed frange. I've dug a lot of jackets out of my skin <laughs> in life. Uh, what we did was you know, we have a polymer point copper point compound that's okay. injection molded, and that 40 grain 5.56, five, you can stand a meter away from steel and do a full mag dump in 5.56 five, with no splashback. Oh my gosh. All right. And we kicked the velocities up enough. At about 31, 31, 50 feet per second. Oh People my. are like, wow, what are your chamber pressures? Well, we're still in that safe chamber pressure. We're not even close to SAMI specs. 
But what it does is we don't have to change our sights for, for true ammo versus training ammo. Nice, so, I like that. Yeah, yeah. So it changes when we're calling it R4, reduced range, reduced ricochet. Reduced range, reduced ricochet. Yeah, R4 okay. Frange. R4, I like that. Yeah. So something to look for there, dealers. R4 ammo, yep. and then we've got the MD11. Is that yep. what it was? And MD11, then MD11, and then okay. full blown suppressor line. So. Okay. Well, we're gonna take a look at all that. Hey, CJ, thank you so much for yeah, uh, for just taking a little time with us out yeah, here on the range. All right. all right. So this is our 556 five, 40 grain frange. Um, it's polymer copper zinc mix that's then compressed. And you're saying that the the speed that comes out, what was the speed you 3150. said? 3150. 3150. Look at that. Feet per second. And when can we see the? When can dealers buy these? Uh, probably close to the end of the range. We did our first lot load. Um, okay. Went through all of our testing. Uh, so yeah, what, a new release. What makes you happy about this the most? What do you love the most about these? Realism. Realism. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And how? Can you elaborate on realism then? It's a big difference in between training itis and what happens in the real world. Flat ranges like this, everything, you get one little muzzle up. Sure. But when you're actually in those situations, to include LE, it's fearful. It's 360 degrees. Nice. You know? Yeah. And what this allows us to do is have realism. Yeah. So moving through a house or moving on any type of raid or assault or anything like this allows you to use your real weapons with the proper training ammo nice and you know it just adds a, a whole different world of realism i love everything about that uh, so tell me a little bit about everything you got here the whole setup yeah so this is our mdx line in a in a md15 but this is the pdx with a cgs suppressor on it and then we've got our lines so 11 and a half, 8 and a half, and 10 3. Um, these are all billeted, all SBRs, you know. And we nice. Them there. What, do you, what should I shoot? You tell me. So, one of the big issues of Frange okay. is they're not suppressor safe. Okay. Ours is. Let's check this bad boy out. So, this is the MDX. MDX, five and a half inch barrel, five by six. Five by six, all right. See here. I like it. You can shoot the hundred and push to the hundred as well. The what? The hundred, the just off the wall. There you go, here. Load. Is this a turn around mag? Yep. Have, uh, nice. <laughs> but it's still a shot. I didn't. I mean, I didn't feel anything. <laughs> That's exactly what you want, right? Yeah. I like it. I don't know what else to say. I'm really bad at marketing when I like something. <laughs> what, do you, what else you got to say, huh? Hey, James here at Segment Wholesale, and uh, we just got done talking to CJ at Maxim Defense. He sent us down here to take a look at this MD11, and I'm here with Dave. Dave is going to tell us all about the MD11. Go ahead, Dave. What do you got with this yeah, thing? Yeah. So the MD11 is our new large frame okay. platform. Comes in 6.5 Creedmoor and 308. So we're shooting 6.5 today Oops, sorry. just we'll to keep it easy on the ammo. Okay. Uh, and then it comes in an 18 inch carbon fiber proof barrel okay. or an 18 inch steel proof barrel is our standard. Steel shooting barrel. the Geisley SSAE trigger nice. in all of them so we don't have to swap that out. And then we've got our SOC direct thread can on the end to help tamper it down and hold us tight. I like that. Okay. And what are. Uh, Anything. Well, let's go look at the gun and maybe we'll talk sure. a little bit more. Yeah, so this is our uh, SOCOM direct thread can nice. in 6.5 Creedmoor. This one has a stainless steel proof barrel on it. Okay. Uh, running our arid color scheme on the gun. We have the Geisley SSA trigger, nitride bolt carrier group, uh, radiant charging handle. All just, ready to go. Just ready to go and beautiful. What are we shooting at here? So we're shooting 880 yards okay. and we're going to shoot that 8 inch plate out there. And we're going to hit it. I'm going to hit it? Well, <laughs> you can shoot at the four foot one on here. But if we sit okay. down uh, here on the, on the bench, we'll be able to hit that eight, eight inch plate okay. at 880 yards. All right, I'll give it a shot. All right. I mean, I, 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 if I don't, I guess I owe somebody a beer. I'm ready to go here, 6.5 Creedmoor, right? Yep. Okay. 
Caught the left edge of it. Yeah, all right. Hey, I'll take it. Impact, top left corner. Impact. Yeah, all right, cool. Hey, love it. That's awesome. He didn't wait. Yeah. 880 yards. <laughs> that feels good. Three for three. Woo. Barely. Man, I'll three take it. Three for wow. Three. Good job, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, Dave, thank you so much for showing us this, yeah. man. And uh, awesome. got to check out the MD11 uh, uh, for maximum defense. And hopefully, we'll have some in our warehouse soon. And then we can uh, get them out to you, dealers. That's what we do all this for as well, yeah. for the dealers. Sounds so, good. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, all right. Cool. cool.